This is a patient who is having an IOL exchange and trabecular aspiration for glaucoma. He has a multifocal intraocular lens in the ciliary sulcus. Here we're making some paracentesis. This is a 23 gauge retina extrusion cannula that's being used to lavage and vacuum the angle. Uh, it is uh, connected to a syringe and a combination of pumping out and vacuuming in uh, blows away the pigment uh, along the angle. Uh, this is done multiple times uh, brushing along the inferior angle and then coming through the uh, inferior paracentesis 100 degrees away, 180 degrees away, we treat the superior angle um, using uh, BSS to uh, lavage and vacuum the angle. Uh, after this is completed, viscoelastic is placed in the anterior chamber and the lens is elevated out of the ciliary sulcus into the anterior chamber uh, where it can be uh, grabbed uh, and cut using the MST forceps and micro cutters. Um, here we're going to put viscoelastic under the lens to protect the capsule and over to protect the endothelium and the uh, Packer Chang 19 gauge scissor is used to cut this uh, lens in half while it is held in place with an MST micro forceps. Um, this is a very hard material. It is the uh, Sensar acrylic material, but the uh, scissor cuts through it uh, relatively easily um, as long as it's uh, held securely in the other hand with the uh, forceps. In some cases, you need to uh, rotate the lens 180 degrees and cut from the other side. But in this case, I was able to get through the uh, lens completely all the way across in one cut. The pieces are then taken out one half at a time through a three millimeter incision without difficulty. At this point, it is uh, uh, obvious that there are adhesions between the peripheral iris and the capsule and at first I attempt to uh, break these with a blunt instrument but a decision is made to cut them with a 23 gauge micro scissor. Um, this is uh, done by taking the scissor and pushing it up against the undersurface of the iris so we don't break the capsule and then making a snip and sweeping from side to side. Now we're able to put the implant uh, a Technus three-piece silicone lens in the sulcus. Uh, I felt that this would be less likely to cause uh, iris chafing and pigment dispersion than the uh, acrylic implant that had been in there previously. Also, uh, we had placed a monofocal implant in the other eye and the patient expressed a preference for the monofocal implant over the multifocal. The Residual viscoelastic is removed and the uh, anterior chamber is filled with BSS to secure the wounds and the procedure is completed.